This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, and you saw me a little bit earlier because I had this camera on while I was doing all the openings and everything. I'm glad I didn't do anything embarrassing. And uh, you know what else, else I haven't done? Look at that. See? Turn on the lights and everything's going good. I don't know what it is, man. I take a, uh, this. I take like five days off or four days off before I come back. And um, it causes me a real problem. It really does. Uh, I just I can't remember how to do things and stuff. Uh, I I just I need to. I think I I need to uh, stop doing that drug I've been doing. God, it's just made me loopy. You know. Mm. Mm. Well, anyway, it is. Uh, let's see here. It is. It is. Uh, what day is it? Oh, this is a Wednesday, and if it's Wednesday, it must be time. To talk to our old friend Phil Meyer. Let me go to here, there. At least, oh look, see, we get we have him th just there. Uh, With, uh, wait a minute. Here. You got to turn your ca camera on. Yeah. All oh right. gee. Okay. I got to move my screen. Uh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. Why didn't you do this all earlier? I did. Uh, but for one reason or another, it. Uh, you want to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I'll just start right. the show over again. Okay, now uh, zoom out a little bit. All right, let me... Uh, zoom out a little bit. Okay. Zoom out. Uh, no, there, that's too much. See? I just got to move the screen. No, but then you got too much on the other side. Now you got to zoom in. But can't you, why, do you only have two choices of Zoom? Can't you just do? Uh, yeah, I pretty much have two choices. You have, uh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, let me uh, do one more thing here. We'll just sit here and wait, folks. There you go. There you go. Let me turn down the reverb. All right. How you doing? Fine. How are you doing? Well, uh, better than, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, who's the comedian that just died at 65? Um, yeah. Uh, I, I saw him not too long ago uh, in, in, uh, in a live performance. Mm -hmm. Bob Saget. Bob Saget, that's it. Yeah, tomorrow and, night we'll run the interview we did with Bob Saget in 2008. Yeah. I'm going to run that tomorrow night, even though you can go over to Facebook right now and see it. Yeah, well, I, I used to remember that he used to show up at your show... Uh, I think at Camel. Uh, no. Uh, no, you didn't have me as a guest at Camel? I don't think so. I think it was more closely. It could have been Quake, but I think it, it definitely was Live 105. Oh. Uh, yeah, he, um, uh, I saw him at the UC Theater. Mm -hmm. uh, he wouldn't allow any photography. And I think I know why. Because he was double, triple the size of his original self. He got really big. What do you Bigger mean? Bigger than me. Tall or fat? Fat. Really? When was that? Uh, last year, I think. Or really? Maybe, oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe a little l longer than that. Yeah. Uh, it was one of the last shows they had at uh, the UC Theater before uh, yeah. COVID. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, uh, I, I, I don't know. I would probably not let people take pictures either. You know? Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, you should pay for that right. Because you're going to well, turn around. Wait a minute. You're going to turn around and sell those pictures, aren't you? No, I don't sell them. Well, I actually but, donate them to... But, uh, but, if, but if somebody wanted to buy them, you'd sell them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why should I give you that for free? Well, uh, because, because you're such a nice... I uh, but I had a photo pass uh, at, at the theater. 
Yeah, well, that's fine. But if the artist says he doesn't want photographs taken of him, then they can't take pictures. Well, you know, there are a lot of there are a lot of artists that say they don't want uh, photographs because they don't like the way they're depicted. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, um, uh, I, you know, I've shot some people. I try to be very courteous and uh, and, and look for interesting shots, but not necessarily shots that will make them look foolish. And, uh, yeah, but they, they don't know that. See, they yeah, don't that's know true. that. They have no control. If they let you in, let you take pictures of them, they have no control yeah. over those photographs and how they're portrayed in, 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 after, after the fact. So yeah, it's better to just tell you you can't shoot uh, any pictures of me. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, at that, uh, that particular uh, event, there, was, there were no pictures. But uh, he, he definitely... Uh, you know the the kind of com the kind of comedy that he would do on TV. His act was totally opposite. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, that uh, it, matter of fact, he made fun of and uh, tried to be as opposite as possible. Well, it uh, wasn't it wasn't that as much as he was probably the dirtiest comic working, but he yeah. did it in a very nice way. Now I know that sounds impossible, folks, but it was in a very nice way. His, his, yeah. you know, he was uh, very sweet in his, in you know, he would say something absolutely god awful, ugly, horrible. I mean, he did, you know, the aristocrats, right? Nah, what what's that? You don't know what the aristocrats were? No. Nah. It was a movie that Penn Jillette turned out. Uh, oh. And uh, he went around to comics and had them tell this one joke called The Aristocrats, which is a classic joke, which when it's being told by various people, nobody tells it the same way. It, oh. They turn it into performance art. And it's oh. the dirtiest joke ever written. Yeah. Okay. Uh, At least, do you know the joke? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, and most of the people watching right now know the joke, too. So I'm not going to. All right. Go, so do the joke. I'm not going to get into it. Well, no, it, it, it I, I'm not going to do the joke because I'm not a comedian. And uh, I don't think I would do it justice. OK. Yeah. Uh, but in the hands of somebody like uh, um, uh, Bob Saget or Gilbert Gottfried or Bobby Slayton or any one of a number of other people. It's, uh, it's turned into a gem. And in this film, they had maybe 20 different comics telling the same joke over and over again, but their own version of it. Yeah. And the person who was the dirtiest beat out Gilbert Gottfried, beat out Bobby <laughs> Slayton, beat out uh, any number of people was Bob Saget. Really? Yeah. But he does it in such a, a gentle way that it 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 does it it's you it's very filthy. It's he does it unrelentingly filthy. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to describe it. But so if I do that joke, uh, I'm not a comedian, and well, I could you, probably you know, I, I could probably tell the joke, but I couldn't do it justice. Well, you could try to muddle your way through it. How would you do it uh, in comparison to other people? I just I, mean, I just give you the short version of it and t and and t tell you what goes on in it, and then give you the punchline if you want to know what it's all about. Well, maybe I should watch the movie. Yes, you should. <laughs> but yeah. the fact that you don't even know. I mean, I heard this joke. God, maybe twenty years ago, thirty years ago, longer than that, thirty, forty years ago. And all along my history in comedy, every comic would tell the story, but in a different way. Really? There's another joke like it that Penn Jillette does called the bear joke, which is another yeah. one of those operatic jokes where you yeah. tell the joke and you just embellish it in the most disgusting manners. And, and um, uh, the punchline is nothing. The punchline yeah. is 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 just the end of the joke, basically. I see. Okay. So uh, I mean, it, it's about a guy. It's about a guy who comes into his uh, to an agent, yeah. and says, "I have the most amazing act you've ever seen in your life." 
And he says, so, well, uh, well, well, tell me about it. I'm, I'm interested. He said, well, he said, uh, first my wife comes out and she starts playing with her pussy. And then I come out and uh, I pull my penis out, which is a pretty large penis. It's one of the largest in show business, and she blows me. And, and I'm not going to go on with the rest of the joke because I'm going to be demonetized for sure tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I tell it right. If I tell it wrong, we'll make a lot of money off the show tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the, t the test would be if I get demonetized, and I, 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 I just don't want to get into that now. Yeah. But the fact is the joke goes on and on. It gets worse and worse, and I mean the wife has sex with the dog, and the dog has sex with the daughter, and the daughter has sex with the son, and they do it in eye sockets, and I mean on and on. Depends on how you want it. No two people tell the joke the same way on how yeah. disgusting this act is. Okay. Yeah. And then I can tell you the punchline because it's not going to ruin it for you. The punchline right. is after all this and she does this to me and I do this to her and she does this to me and then we do it to each other and then we do it to our daughter and then we do it to our son and then our son does it to the daughter and we then bring the dog into the act and we also have a horse. A horse comes into the act and, you know, she's doing this to me and I'm doing this to her and the horse and the hand, 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 on and on and on. And finally at the end, the agent says, I'm very interested. What do you call yourselves? He says, we call ourselves the aristocrats. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It might be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean it might be interesting? So it's the funniest joke ever written or not well, written. What, what's the first joke that everybody learns uh, in, in their youth? I don't know. I know the first joke I ever learned. Why, uh, why the chicken crossed the no, road? No, my father taught it to me. Yeah? Because he wanted me to tell it at parties. Yeah, what, what's that? Well, it's a story about a, um, uh, a, a princess, and she's walking through the forest one day, and all of a sudden she comes up on a, uh, a frog, and the frog says, Hi, princess, how you doing? And she says, Oh, you can talk? He says, Oh, yeah, I can talk. He said, I can do one other thing. If you take me home tonight and you put me under your pillow, the next morning when you wake up, I will be a handsome prince. She says, well, who can, who can miss something like that, right? Right. So she takes the frog home and she puts him under her pillow and the next morning she wakes up and sure enough, there's a handsome prince lying in the bed next to her. And do you know to this day her parents don't believe the story? <laughs> now, my father taught me that joke. That was How a, old were you? Four, five. <laughs> That's a complicated joke for a four or five-year-old. Yeah, but he, he worked on teaching it to me. And then yeah. he would say, oh, uh, Alex or Bennett, Ben, come here, Bolo, Bolo, come here. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell them, tell our friends the joke. And he, they would tell them, I would do the joke. Yeah. And I would get big laughs out of it because I'm a little kid telling this joke. If I were an adult yeah. telling this joke, eh, maybe, you know. Yeah. So that was the first joke I ever learned. Oh. I always thought people just learned, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? And you know the answer, don't you? No. To get to the other side. Hey, that's funny. <laughs> of course, I well, know kid, kids think it is. Yeah. So, uh, let's see what's going on. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a yeah. second. Oh, we're, okay. We're talking about jokes that we learn yeah. when we're kids. All right. You know. Uh, but that's that's the first joke I ever learned. I've never been good. It's not that I'm not good at telling jokes. I have a bad time remembering jokes. Yeah. By the way, you keep uh, getting blurry and unblurry, so you. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this camera. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, it 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 it's lost its uh, clarity. I mean, my uh, the picture behind me, you know, uh, it looks great. It's clear. Yeah. You can see the people in the yeah. windows. Yeah. But uh, as far as uh, my picture off of this camera, uh, and I've read about it, and it says you know you got to uninstall the software, reinstall the well, software. Which, which not, one is it? 
Uh, the C920. C920, oh. I have, I, have, I have nothing but Brio's in here that I use. Yeah. Um, they're, they're fairly expensive. They're 4K cameras. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there should be a, a thing on your somewhere uh, that you can set it that says, do not do autofocus. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, okay. Well, I'll, I'll look into that next time. I mean, do you have a, do you have a thing where you go to it and it allows you like, it just allows you to zoom? Uh, no, that's a, uh, that's the, uh, Logitech software. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah. in there, I, you'll see a thing that says autofocus. Okay. Let me, let me take a look here. We'll get this uh, straight folks before. It's okay. Long. Uh, advanced. Boy, I got bags under my, uh, autofocus, auto white balance, autofocus, autofocus, unclick that. Uh, all right. Is it clicked? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was clicked. I just unclicked. Okay. It. Now you'll be in focus all the time. All right, let me uh, pull the zoom back up there. Okay. Yeah, really? well, yeah, yeah, see? You learn right. something every day, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So uh, how does the board sound? Board sounds good. Sounds great. It's it's the Personas. Yeah, it's the Personas. It doesn't Finally. Sound, it doesn't sound any better than this board, but it sounds good. Well, it sounds better than the other board I had because that board, every time someone spoke... I got uh, silenced. Really? And you don't want to get silenced. Well, you know, for a long time, I was happy with that. Yeah. You know, I, f I figured, hey, you know, I don't want to talk over anybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, I could have a way of making sure that doesn't happen, that yeah. that works for me. Yeah. I should wear my glasses all the time. Then people won't see the bags under my eyes. See how much nicer that is? Yeah. So you save yourself some money. Just put the glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right right this is uh this is uh if i want to get rid of these it's two thousand dollars that's it well yeah two thousand is what he so that's a thousand an eye yeah basically and but if i do this it's only about the buck six ninety nine sixty over at costco <laughs> you know. yeah so uh last time i heard it's really cold out there uh, uh, no, York. actually, today it's very nice, and the, yeah. uh, in fact, the, uh, well, what's the temperature now? 34 degrees. Oh, it's, that, that you could play tennis. It, well, I mean, in your shorts. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, what else uh, is going on? Well, I, I was just looking at, uh, at Drudge, and, uh. Uh, let's see. Judge orders man convicted of sexual assault to join the military or go to jail. Mm -hmm. uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, Prince Andrew will fa face a sex suit. Um, uh, Getz's ex-girlfriend testifies to grand Gates, jury. Gates. 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 All right. Yeah. Uh, well, Getz. Gates. Oh, I Getz is your neighbor. Uh, was your Matt, uh, Matt Gates? Is how yeah. It's pronounced. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Getz was the. Uh, uh, the guy on the subway. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There, there's there, there's not much there's not much going on. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people dying. Uh, let's see who died. Uh, uh, Ronnie uh, Spector died. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she's uh, the singer. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, now uh, they ran a story about her tonight. Went on for about mm -hmm. two or three minutes on uh, on uh, the NBC Nightly News. Yeah, and they kept talking about her and about her career and what she did, and not once did they say she was married to Phil Spector. Oh, really? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know that. That uh, now he died in prison. Well, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't know that Ronnie Spector, who was one of the Ronettes that recorded for Phil Spector, well, everybody wasn't recorded married, for Phil. Wasn't married to Phil Spector. How did she get the last name? Spectre. Her her original name was oddly enough Ronnie Bennett. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but she couldn't have that name because your uh, yeah, because ex my ex wife had it. used it in show business. Yeah, so <laughs> right. she had to change it to Ronnie Spectre. No, yeah. So she, IMDb wouldn't let her use it. No, she she married uh, Phil Spectre, and then she accused him of having beaten her and all of that kind of stuff. But she kept the name. Yeah. You know, so. Well, it, you know, I don't blame her. Uh, Specter or Bennett? Which one would you take? Uh, Schwarzman. <laughs> Schwarzman. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Woman stuck in lockdown with blind date. So I guess in China, 
uh, they are having all of these lockdowns over cases of COVID. Mm-hmm. And this uh, this gal, and she was kind of cute. I saw a picture of her. Uh, was on a blind date. The guy made her a meal, and they said there's going to be lockdowns, and she couldn't leave. Uh, she said the guy didn't talk much. Well, but that's a, that's an interesting story. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, in in t- places like China, they're very restrictive about all mm. of this. They are in Australia. I mean, uh, Djokovic should be thrown out of the goddamn country. Okay, Do you know. In Australia, I read an article that there's actually more uh, cases in the hospital of vaccinated than unvaccinated. It was only a small percentage difference, but well, the uh, reason that probably is is that most of the country is vaccinated. Yeah, you see, here we can have a higher proportion that are unvaccinated because not everybody is vaccinated, and obviously, well, if you're not vaccinated, you're going to get it. If you are vaccinated. You can still get it, breakthrough, but you're not going to die from it, and you're not going to get very sick. In fact, the only people, the, the worst here in this country is unvaccinated get, getting Delta. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, de- the, the Omicron cases have overtaken the Delta cases yes, in but they, Australia. The, but, oh, but they're not deadly. No. Uh, you know, not if, as deadly if you as look Delta. At, if you look at, for instance, here in America, the rates of people being infected incredibly high, yeah. But the number of deaths, in proportion to that, the way it used to be, oh, much lower. Much yeah. lower. You well, know. you know, I've noticed that. Uh, you know, I've I've uh, seen so many people now mm-hmm. that have gotten sick, uh, and not that they've come in contact with me, or if they have, I didn't know about it. But th- there's a lot of people that are now coming down with Omicron. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if the Israelis are right, and this is what's going to lead to herd immunity, mm-hmm. uh, then it's probably not a bad thing. Well, it could. It could. It, what it is is people refuse to get vaccinated, but nature is kind of saying, um, "I'm going to vaccinate you." Yeah. You know, and and so that's what's starting to happen. You know, and and uh, I. Uh, um, it's it's terrible, you know, uh, that people aren't getting vaccinated because if they get vaccinated and then they get, let's say, Delta, they're not yeah. going to die from it, okay? Yeah. And if they get um, if they get uh, Omicron, uh, Omicron, uh, it's they're going to have a bad cold. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, well, but if but if they aren't vaccinated, you can it, they can still die of Omicron. Chances are they won't, but they can. Yeah. And they can definitely die of Delta. Well, people die of influenza. Uh, you know, if, you, if you look at the number of people prior to COVID-19, mm-hmm. as we know it, mm-hmm. uh, there were a lot of people that died of, of the flu uh, or, you know, uh, during flu season. Whether they got a flu yeah, but shot, yeah, but it's not it's not to the extent of this. This no, is, no, this is wasn't. very pernicious, you know. Yeah, and it's very and it's it's quite deadly, you know. If you if you're not vaccinated, hey, listen, we we go get vaccinated for the flu every year. Why? So we don't get it. Yeah, you know. Uh, now I you know I still think I could go out right now and get it. Okay. Yeah. But uh, if I got well, it, Omicron, I, yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. You, you know, there was uh, an article about a guy that got vax- got jabbed 14 times. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, yeah, so he, he just kept going out and getting the, uh, the vaccination. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it was another one on Drudge. Uh, yeah, well, for what we can take as gospel truth on Drudge. Uh, of course. Oh, anti-vax dad on the run with seven-year-old? No, that's not it. A uh, woman stuck in lockdown. Yeah, but what about Djokovic? What do you think about Djokovic? Uh, I'm sorry. Who's Djokovic? See, you, you don't follow the news. You just go over to Drudge as your cheat sheet. Yeah, well, why not? In fact, uh, he's probably listed in Drudge today. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine. No, I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing him. Or if it did, it didn't. Uh, it, it wasn't something that I was interested in. Yeah. Uh, where is Djokovic from? 
he's from is he where's he from one of the one of the Slavic states. Yeah, and he's a he's a tennis player. And, oh, uh, is that the guy that's stuck in uh, in Australia? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He and he did he didn't have a vaccination. Well, no, I he, didn't know he, that was he, his name. He lied about stuff when he came into right. the country. Okay, yeah. that's just come out. Prior yeah. to this, he went before a court, and the court said, "Well, you can stay, but you can't leave the hotel till the country decides you can stay here." Well, I I don't understand exactly. No, they won't let him out of the country so he can play uh, in some no, in no, some no, match. No, no, no. He he went there, he to Australia there. to be in the Australia Open, Australian yeah. Open, uh, and. Uh, uh, it looks like he may not be able to play, and I think because he did all this lying and stuff, and he's a big anti-vaxer. Yeah, the guy should, you know, should not be allowed to play. You know. Yeah. No. Uh, you know, I mean, people shouldn't lie. If if he if he said I'm not vaccinated, uh, and he didn't want to get vaccinated, then all he had to do was yeah. suffer the consequences of not. Getting into Australia. Well, he claimed, I think, he, that he had COVID and that he has the antibodies. And then that kind of turned out not to be true. I don't know what's true and not true with him you, any longer. Do you remember in the early days of COVID, people were yeah. able to get tested to see if they had uh, the antibodies from... Yeah, uh, they're not doing this that is before the, they're not. They don't seem to be doing that anymore. Yeah. No, I wonder why. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, now, did people actually have? How do you like po- how do you like potty mouth Fauci? No, oh, uh, <laughs> w- 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 that wasn't when he was talking to um, uh, Rand Paul, was it? No, Rand Paul's such a prick. God, uh, is he a prick? I mean, yeah. just a prick for the sake of being a prick. Okay, uh, I don't think he uh, appreciates Fauci. No, I I, think... I get that idea, <laughs> and I don't think Fauci appreciates him. Uh, well, you know, no, he, it, it's certainly Fauci, adversarial. Fauci just says, you know, you're not telling the truth here. You know, you're, mi- you're misquoting stuff and you're misinterpreting stuff to fit your uh, own agenda. He said, so you can sell, uh, so you can get donors on your website. And then he showed the website where he was getting donors to get rid of Dr. Fauci. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I I heard that him ask Dr. Fauci about his salary. He gets 420k a year. Could be. Why yeah. not? Well, yeah. Why not? Would you Who's take the it? If they offered it to you, would you take it? Of course I would. Well, of course. So don't put that on Fauci for taking it. Hey, if they offered me 420 a year, I'd be a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we bring in some other people here? Do you mind? No, it's your show. Why, why, why would I mind? Well, I mean, it's my show, but I, uh, you know, I hope you don't mind. Uh, I not, mean, I, not at I, all. I, I'd like uh, you to stick around. Sure. And yeah. uh, now, on another front, uh, that one of the headlines is uh, poll: Biden uh, approval sinks to thirty-three percent. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'd probably be part of that thirty-three percent. You know. Yeah, but Trump's only at four percent, so we're okay. Yeah. I don't think there's any polls for Trump. Right I haven't now. I haven't answered yeah. your antibodies uh, comment just a minute ago, Phil. Yeah, what is it? <clears throat> the reason they're not doing that anymore is because antibodies are only one part of the immune system. So you could test positive for antibodies and still get COVID. What? And you can also test negative for antibodies and still be protected because it takes B like boy cells and T like T cells, which are also part of your immune system, and they don't have a real good way to test for that hey, yeah. in uh, mass. Uh, okay, you're not cute. She is. <laughs> <laughs> blah blah. You know, it's like that 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 Charlie Brown. You know, the teacher's talking. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> hey, can you get her a hat that fits? <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, no. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. there we go. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what? So what? So Phil? Oh no! <laughs> God, like she is so growing up. She yeah, is so grown up. up, huh? Yeah. He said, don't grow up. How old are you now? How old are you now, Adrian? Five. Six. Six. Wow, you're an old broad, aren't you? You got to marry her off sooner. She'll, yeah. uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, be an old maid. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, say hi. I say how are you? Yeah, it's just a bunch of old people talking to each other, Adrian. Now, a Adrian's in kindergarten now, right? Uh, Brian, is Adrian in kindergarten? Are you in kindergarten? Yeah. Tell him. That's Phil. Yeah. Say, hey. Yeah. Nobody likes him. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, do you have a boyfriend? No. Uh, no do okay. you have a boyfriend? How many boyfriends do you have then? If you don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> zero? No, oh, zero boyfriends. But there are many boys that like you. Is that right? Two boys. Two boys. Two boys. Who wouldn't? Uh, who wouldn't? If I were. Oh, three boys now. Three boys. Wow. Just wait. When is the wedding date? Just Daddy. wait. Daddy's buying a big baseball bat standing by the door. <laughs> I, I think he wants one of Alan's shotguns. Yeah, see this guy and this guy? They're going to teach me how to shoot. Yeah. So if any, if any boy throws your water bottle over the fence again, I'm going to take care of them. Okay. She ha is 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 she suffering from the water bottle over the fence syndrome? Yeah, what? the substitute teacher was there, and somebody threw it over the fence, so she was not happy today. So I told her I'm going to go beat him up, and she said no. <laughs> and the person threw back the other one, and it had a picture of Donald. So Trump on. so they don't they're not they're not uh, they're not doing uh, uh, online learning right now. No 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 not not now. How can you possibly do kindergarten online? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, isn't kindergarten the only time in your life where you go to school and you didn't have homework? Well, we you can did, f really. I didn't. Have no, we did pre-K. Pre-K was uh, online. You yeah, can finger like, paint. Draw, draw, draw an A and show it. <laughs> you, know, it like <laughs> oh, you can you can finger paint on an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Uncle say Phil bye, is going to buy you an iPad, I think is what he okay. just said. Uh, no, yeah, actually her iPad's coming. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, close the door. Close the door. Thank you. Uh, not yet. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's going to affect her in later life. She's going to have to talk to a shrink about that. Daddy yeah. locked me out of his office. Yeah, yeah, he throws me out every time I talk to these old people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my first joke. Yeah. Yeah. My first dirty joke I heard from my mom. She was, I overheard her telling somebody at an office party. And she said, do you know why pee's yellow and cum is white? So you know if you're coming or going. <laughs> and I had no idea what that meant, yeah. <laughs> but I remembered it. I well, I didn't. The joke my father taught me, I didn't get. I tell it now to a bunch of adults, and they laugh. You know, yeah. no, they don't really laugh. What they're do you mean? Really it was funny. Oh, they just be, it... they're just being nice to me. Is that what you nah, say? If oh. you had a if you had a four year old tell you that joke, you oh. would laugh. I mean, uh, that, that there was a lot of work involved in learning that. Yeah. I can appreciate. To it. this day, her father doesn't believe the story, you know. And I didn't. I didn't understand why it was funny. Yeah. I just understood that I. I was asked. I was the performing seal in my family, you know. And uh, so we 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 did the the whole performing seal act. I remember the first joke my mother told me. I didn't think it was funny as a kid, but a lot of adults laugh at it. Yeah. So, uh, three ladies get in an elevator. Two well-to-do, very nicely dressed, tall ladies, yeah. and a short lady. It's about four foot tall and about sixty years old. And as the elevator goes down, they start sniffing. And one of the tall ladies says, "The young lady says, Chanel number twenty-five, four hundred dollars an ounce." Ooh. They go a little farther, and the other one they sniff, and the other one says, "Chanel number forty-seven, uh, three thousand dollars a quarter ounce." And they go, ooh. And they get down to the third floor. And the little lady that's four foot tall and 200 pounds, she farts and she says, broccoli, $1.99 a pound. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I didn't get it as a kid, but boy, as an adult, it sure cute. Yep, yep, yep. And they would have you tell it to company, right? Of course. Of course, yeah. I've been, I've been listening to it. I would like... <clears throat> I've been listening to a lot of uh, Bob Saget stuff lately. Yeah, and uh, and uh, he he talked about how he learned, you know, how he got really dirty was because his dad 
you know, was telling him a lot of really dirty jokes when he was young. I guess he had a lot of people that die in the family when he was young. So to, to cure the pain, that's what his dad would do. Just start telling him dirty jokes. Well, and he, it, said, he, he had no idea what the well, stuff well, meant. Well, Saget was, uh, and tomorrow night I'm going to play the interview with him. But it's, we already have it online, but I, right. I figure I'll play it tomorrow night. Uh, but he uh, he was a dirty comedian, I guess we could say. But if you listen to the way he does it, he doesn't do it in a dirty way. You know, he keeps apologizing for everything he says in the act. Oh, is he and, then he, and then he, he blames people for laughing at it. How can you laugh at that? You know, <laughs> how can you find that funny? What kind of sick person are you, right? Me, it's me. <laughs> yeah, there. I, I posted there. There is this heartbreaking <clears throat> uh, video that he did. He talked about uh, losing Norm Macdonald because him and Norm are oh, like, yeah. friends. And it's like thirty. It's like thirty-seven minutes with him just talking, just rambling. Uh, but talk about his friendship with him, and, and yeah, it's just heartbreaking. And then to know, you know, that Bob I Saget. know nobody that didn't like Bob Saget. Mm. You know, I liked him. For me to mm -hmm. like somebody, you know, you got to be okay. Uh, I never had a bad word to say about Bob Saget. Uh, I I knew him early on. I didn't know him as much later on. In fact, the interview I'm playing tomorrow night was done in uh, 2008. Uh, but I, uh, I, I I always liked the guy. You know, I always thought he was terrific. And everybody who knew him, there's there's uh, there's a video on uh, YouTube of Jimmy Kimmel talking about his death, mm. and he breaks down crying. Yeah, talking about it. You know, this is how love this guy was. You know, and he was just a decent guy. Um, and uh, you know, I mean, uh, I uh, you, you know, I never. Uh, a lot of people went, "How could you do?" You know, they don't say, how could you be so dirty? They say, how could you do full house? Mm -hmm. I was it? shocked when I heard he was doing that. Yeah. And, After and, seeing his live show. <laughs> yeah. And and his answer always was, it paid the bills. You know, mm -hmm. really well paid the bills. That in America's home videos, which he got as a result of being on full house. You know? So, I mean, he... Um, uh, he he never felt bad about doing full full house, but he felt he was paying his penance by doing his act. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I uh, I I read that uh, the guy who discovered him in the hotel. So he was just laying in bed. His hands were over his chest, crossed. No, his like hand. This. One hand was at his heart. Was holding oh. onto his heart. Yeah. So uh, you, you think it was a heart attack? Or? He was doing the pledge of allegiance while he yeah, was dying. Yeah, I'm sure he was. <laughs> Uh, you know, he probably he probably had a heart attack. His family had had a history of heart problems. I think his father died as a, at a rather young age. His had uncles that died at like forty four of heart problems. So he probably had this. He probably had heart problems too. You know. In fact, you know what I just found out. Uh, somebody told me about it that uh, Betty White. Who we think, you know, died in her sleep. That was it, you know. She had a stroke. She yeah. had a stroke about four weeks before she died. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she died as the result of the complications of stroke. And, of course, at that age, if you get a stroke, you're going to get another one, you know. Yeah. But uh, he... Um, uh, she was so young. Huh? She was so young. She was so young. I you mean, know what? Any, oh. Anybody between 80 and 100, that's young. You know what I've been watching? Yep. I watched it because I just wanted to see Betty White. I watched one episode, and now so far I've watched like 20 episodes. What, Golden Girls? No, Hot in Cleveland. Oh, Hot yeah. In Cleveland. Hot in Cleveland was a very funny show. Yeah, Phil. Phil's not right a funny guy. And, and uh, Betty White was extraordinary. I mean, at her age, her timing was all there. Mm -hmm. You know? Spot on timing. Amazing. Just amazing. She said, there's one line in the thing where she she's asked by someone, why is it old ladies always wear track suits? You know? <laughs> and she said, well, because when you're when you're 20, you dress for boys. 
And when you're 40, you dress for success. And when you're 80, you dress for the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the show's very well written. Very well written. But her timing on delivering that joke, just perfect. Just yeah. perfect. So, And she was 88 when she did this show, when she started oh. doing this show. So, yeah, anyway. w Watching a lot of that stuff, the other person that really stands up that uh, I've really, really grown to like is Gilbert. Like Gilbert Godfrey, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's just this. It, I mean, I love the video age because you can look back at all those, you know, a lot of stuff going on. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Gilbert, I, I love Gilbert. You know, I mean, Gilbert and I have known each other what forever. I read know. something the other day that he got a part <clears throat> that somebody else didn't. That uh, it was a, a major role. Uh, do you do you, re, do you know anything about that? What I don't know. Uh, uh, Gilbert Gottfried got a part that. Uh, someone else wanted. The only time I ever made it to your studio was when was when Gilbert was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert, and I go all the way back to San Francisco. Yeah, live yeah. one hundred and five. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, live one hundred and five. Uh, and uh, we did a. I remember we did a benefit together, and uh, then I got to know him, you know, <clears> here <throat> in New York, and uh, I just uh, I've always loved Gilbert, you know. Yeah. Um. He, I always liked him. Yeah. Um, and his his famous line with me is, Alex Bennett still alive? <laughs> Hard to believe. In fact, that. I was walking down uh, Fifth Avenue, four, no, Sixth Avenue one day. And uh, all of a sure? sudden, I hear somebody yelling from across the street. And it's Gilbert. Everybody. And he says, Alex Bennett, you're still alive? <laughs> you know so i mean it, it, and of course then i meet him at parties and we sit there and we have these amazing discussions i mean he's very intelligent very well versed and uh, uh you know i mean the voice is there he can't get rid of that voice it's kind of like our guy you know, edward Berger, who does our show yeah, yeah. on uh, yeah. on mondays <laughs> This guy has a cartoon voice. Yeah, he does. Hey, dogs I like this. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know. Do you think he practiced that? Yeah. Yes. I have no idea. I have, yeah, and I'm not, he doesn't. He's, that's his normal voice. That's his normal voice, yeah. Yeah, why would you want that as your normal voice? Mm. <laughs> Stands out. Yeah, you'd work, you'd work your ass off to get rid of that voice if you had it. Mm. You know. But uh, anyway, so, I mean, um, yeah, it was sad about about. Uh, you know, uh, now I'm having a brain fart on his name, and I, I know him. I've, I've met him, and I know him. Uh, we, the comedian that had a stroke that you, you feature on the show. Oh, gee, oh. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, I know. Will Give me Durst. a hand here. Will Durst. Will Durst. Yeah. The other, day, the other day, I, I told Marjorie, hey, look, Robert Durst died. <laughs> yeah, right. And she said. And he almost gave me a heart attack. He's dead? And I went, no, not Will, Robert Durst. Oh, the, yeah. You remember Robert Durst? He's the guy who killed yeah. this woman. Rich yeah. guy, very wealthy <laughs> guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, a realtor or something. Uh, really? yeah. Millionaire. Yeah, yeah. He r r murdered a woman named Susan Berman. And, didn't his and I kept thinking about this name Susan Berman, that I knew the name. Yeah. And it turns out I did. I knew her. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So... How well did you know her? I didn't know her that well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I knew her back in the day. There was this guy named Chinga Chavin who did an album called Country Porn, and he always used to talk about Susan Berman and bring her around a lot because he felt that she was, uh, you know, she, she was helpful to him in his career and so on and so forth. And he testified at Durst's trial. Hmm. Uh, and... Um, uh, I found this out the other day because I kept thinking, Susan Berman, Susan Berman, I know that name, I know that name. Sure enough, I knew it. He, 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 she was murdered by uh, by Robert Durst. So, huh. anyway, you know, but Will Durst, Will Durst, who yeah. I talked to just the other day, the other day I called him, and they were they given him a haircut and they were shaving him, and he was yeah. sitting up in a wheelchair and I said next time we do it you got to be standing sitting up in a wheelchair because you look so much better you know 
He looks, he, I said it almost, <clears throat> for moments I could squint my eyes and it was the old Will, yeah. you know. Um, or it's Patrick. Or it's Patrick, one or the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but, now, yeah. uh, funny you mention that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've been listening on uh, Sirius to that vinyl uh, channel. You listen well, to Sirius? What kind of I, friend are you? I, uh. I like this vinyl <laughs> channel, and it's it good. sounds good in the car. So, uh, you know, and the music is, is the music that, you know, I, I enjoyed and, you know, as, a, as a young adult and a, you know, a teenager. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, uh, Charlie, uh, do, you, do you have a T-shirt that has the Beethoven on it? No. No? Oh. I don't uh, have any music-based shirts. Oh, okay. Because uh, when I first moved to San Francisco, I started uh, hanging out with this gal Amy Gossage and uh, Amy was murdered she was 19 she was murdered by her brother uh, about a week and a half two weeks after I started hanging out with her well so she and got out she got a life ahead of stuff yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, her father was Howard Gossage the advertising guy who came up with the t-shirt with the Beethoven on it mm -hmm. but you know when you when you start mentioning uh, you know and the reason I started thinking about her was uh, the music I was listening to. It just uh, reminded me of, uh, you know, when I was... Well, this looks like a new T-shirt for, for, for Charlie. Is it, Charlie? I think I wore it once before. Let's yeah. see, it's science? Science, because figuring things out is better than making stuff up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm surprised, Charlie, that you've worn a shirt twice. <laughs> yeah. You know, in your old place in Arizona, you could see your T-shirt collection uh, on on All the, over uh, the world. on the thing, and and it went went yeah, it went forever. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he owns a regular shirt, do you? No, I mean, why would I need one? Well, for if, if you tired. die and they got to put you in a casket. No, no, I got have my Neil deGrasse Tyson shirt when I die. It, 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 the what? My Neil deGrasse Tyson. Which one is that? What does it say? It just has his picture. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. So how do you how do you get your mustache black or dark? He was my? born that way. <laughs> As it's the only mom. part of my body that's still black. My hair, my everywhere else is gray. <laughs> yeah, you look gray in a poof. Yeah. It, it just grows that way. I haven't dyed my hair since I retired. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. But your hair has gotten dark. It's gotten white, rather. Yeah. You Not know, me. Mine's still brown. You know what's interesting, though? <laughs> what's interesting is we tend to gray from the chin up. Yeah, my chin would be gray if I... Oh, really? But your mustache is dark? It, it, it never gray. And yet your hair is gray. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah, it, 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 Why? what's wrong with well, my that? Well, that puts that theory all to hell, you know? Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, okay, Santa. Now, what is, <laughs> what, is, what is Brian eating tonight that he's not sharing with the rest of us? <clears throat> yeah, is it crunchy? Peanut butter and apples. Oh, really? <clears throat> oh. oh, so Thank tomorrow you. we're getting our stove. Is this thrilling oh, news, wow. folks? Ooh. That's why you tune into this program to hear about this kind of stuff. We're getting our stove tomorrow, I think, because they were supposed to, uh, uh, PC Richards was supposed to write us tonight and say, you know, what time frame they were gonna be coming, and they never sent anything to Marjorie. And I think he, uh, she gave him the wrong email address or something. So as she's got she to call him. As long as she didn't give the wrong uh, home address. <laughs> no, she had to, she has to call him in, uh, she has to call him in the morning and make sure that yeah. they're coming, because my, Super came today, and we were going to pay thirty dollars to have it hauled away. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Oh no, I'll take it. I'll take it downstairs. I got a guy who comes and gets his stuff for scrap iron, and I'll I'll take it." I said, <laughs> "Be, be my guest, of right?" So she called today and said, "We want thirty bucks back." And they said, "Oh, by the way, also we've lowered the price on the uh, on the uh, stove you're getting, so we're saving about one hundred seventy five dollars." So. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. But anyway, I hope it comes tomorrow. Otherwise, we're sitting here with absolutely no stove. You know, there's just nothing there. 
I mean, we cleaned up the area because for for 18 years that thing was sitting there, and you can't imagine what it looked like underneath. Okay. Yeah. But you, you know. have a microwave, so you and you uh, can order chinks. Starve. We can always. <laughs> <laughs> They'll come in 10 minutes if you... I had them come in the snow one time, me and my mother's night. Uh, for, for, uh, for, you, for your uh, Chinese food. Yes. <laughs> I keep looking at the We ordered so much one year, no joke. They send us a Christmas card. I you know what's you know amazing, though? Why anybody would be bothered about you calling Chinese food chinks? Now, here's, I always here's why. That. Because you don't mean anything no, I don't, wrong no. about China, uh, uh, Asian people or anything like that. That's just what you were taught it was called, and you're referring to the food and the food style, and you call it. One, one of my closest yeah. friends. Yeah, let's go to <laughs> one of my closest friends was living with a Chinese gal, and he's Jewish, and she wasn't. And he says, let's go for chinks. Uh, yeah. Did she give him a dirty look? <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, really? Well, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I just. I just think we are a little too sensitive about stuff like that because in a lot of cases, people use terms like that and use uh, talk in a certain way basically because they don't mean any ill by it, you know? They don't Do mean any harm the, by the, it. you hear the, the blow-up yeah. on uh, Below yeah. Deck because uh, the chief stew was talking to uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, stewardesses, or whatever they call them, uh, and they were at, uh, walking towards the bathroom. One of them used the N-word. She used the N-word, and now it's a big blow-up, and uh, Captain Lee uh, is, <clears throat> is in the middle of it, and you know, they're saying he didn't do anything about it. Did, did you see well, that you episode? See, I mean, I, no, no I, I, have, I, I only watch the Mediterranean one. I don't watch the other one. Uh, the, this is the one that's uh, on now. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is just below deck, and I think it's yeah. like taking place in South America or something. I don't. Uh, know. I'm not sure. Croatia, I thought. Yes, I watch below deck. Okay, folks. <laughs> <laughs> everybody watches below deck. You know, I and watch... now everybody's watching Yellowstone. Well, I watched the whole thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but... I, I, I mentioned Yellowstone a few weeks ago, and you said to me, nah, I don't watch that shit. And I don't watch it. I don't watch it. Sounds yeah. really boring. You know something? If you watched it, you would really like it, Brian. Yeah, it's a great yeah. show. Yeah, but that's but the, the so show good. that's really good, I love, is the prequel, is, is 1883. Uh, I haven't watched that yet. Oh. Is that good? Oh, it's, it, I think it's very special. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff wanted to know uh, about Yellowstone, what it was. Uh, it's basically this ranch uh, or, uh, in uh, Montana. It isn't basically a ranch. It is a ranch. It is a ranch in Montana uh, <laughs> called the Yellowstone, uh, the Dutton Yellowstone Ranch. And some of the characters are, j are just fantastic. Uh, and, uh, and they really develop them well. Uh, and it's kind of like if the great. Godfather took place on a ranch. <laughs> you know, sort of. I mean, you got the sons and the daughter, and you got the uh, they go around killing people. <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 Longmire on steroids. <laughs> well, what no, what it is is it it's trying to keep the ranch at all yeah. costs, whatever it takes. And it's been handed down several generations, <clears throat> and yeah. uh, these guys are. And this uh, other thing, which characters. is the prequel, is about how they wound up in Montana. Right. Yeah, we haven't even gotten there yet. They, last week they spent the whole episode crossing a river, you know. Jeff, watch it. Let me I, know what it's about. Uh, yeah, it's on the uh, what network. It. Um, uh, it, uh, oh, uh, it starts with a P. Well, Peacock uh, is do, running P it. But then <coughs> the, not, the, the final season is on Paramount. Network. Paramount. Not Paramount right. Plus, but the Paramount Network. I don't have Paramount right. or Paramount Plus. I have Netflix. Is you, you, can, Netflix? You, no. you can download it, a uh, trial version or something, and... You can you know, steal it. Days, okay, you, let's be honest. You can steal it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. On Paramount or Paramount Plus? I thought you don't have Paramount to steal Plus. it from there. There are other places to get it from. Yeah, but you have to have uh, torrents or something, right? Yeah, you have to know how to operate torrents. Uh, but then you go in, you find Yellowstone season one, and all the all of them download, and then season two. And I figure, torrents hey, these were on, over the uh, uh, these were on, uh, you know, cable broadcasting. So I mean, I'm not really stealing anything that, you know, I couldn't have gotten for free anyway. You know, so. 
Well, you can justify it, you know. But it, it's a it's a hell of a program. I really I really enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to the next season. Yeah, but it's not till next May. Yeah. yeah. Well, it gives me something to live for. Yeah, it gives me <laughs> something to try and live for. Oh. You know, I'm because when I hear these shows are not coming back for another like year. Mm -hmm. I'm going, well, you know, between now and then, I could drop dead and I wouldn't know how the series ended. Yeah, well, like Better Call day. Saul. Better Call Saul, you know, where are they? Oh, they're coming now, back. I know he got hurt. They're coming uh, back. They're coming that's back. That's what they say. But how here's what they're going to do. They're coming yeah. back, six episodes, part one, six episodes, part two. Okay? They're not playing it off all at once. Mm. So I might be dead by the time it ends. <laughs> and you know, at this point, I don't give a fucking crap. They've been off for like, <laughs> what, two, three years? Two years, like yeah. over two years. Right? Now, yeah. I saw that movie on the on a plane that uh, uh, Bob, what, what's his last name? I can Saget? never pronounce it. No. Uh, 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 Odenkirk? Odenkirk. Odenkirk. Bob Saget. Uh, was in, and that Odenkirk. was a good movie. I really enjoyed that. Well, I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was pretty uh, good. It I was like about it. him being a nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my friend Bob Rubin. I remember what you said. There? Bob Rubin. Yeah, that's it. You know Bob Rubin. <laughs> yes. Right. Used to have a girlfriend. And uh, he, he, I, she used to hang out with us all the time at our place and so on and so forth. And then she, she just, she, how can I put it this way? She traded up, okay, and got another boyfriend Named Bob Odenkirk. Really? Who she eventually married. And then she became an agent. And she was his agent and a couple of other people's agents. And mm -hmm. then uh, she became a big agent in Hollywood. And that's right. who he's married to. Still married huh. to this day to her. So. so Bob Rubin went there, huh? Yeah, he, yeah he, I, I said, do not you ever think about calling her and saying, could you represent me maybe? Help me out <laughs> here, you know? Yeah. You know, I don't think they broke up on bad terms. I think she dumped him for Odenkirk. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bob's a nice guy. Uh, Ruben. Yeah. Ruben, yeah, he's living in Canada, I hear now. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't talked to him in a long time. He let me photograph him. <laughs> in the nude. <laughs> nah, nah, he was at uh, the Throckmorton. He was at the Throckmorton. He let me uh, photograph him. He's okay. He let me photograph him. Yeah, that Saget, he didn't let me photograph him. Yeah, what a, what, what a douchebag. Yeah. 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 But, uh, I, uh, I, you know, it, uh, it, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I just told him, you know, you probably should make nice nice with her because she could get you some work, you know. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, you know what I want? What I told him to do once. Uh, I don't know if you know who Bob Rubin is, but he we had him do the show here occasionally for a while, mm -hmm. about a couple of years yeah, back. From San Francisco. A couple of years back, and and he um, his sister LA. became an agent, but really? she she represented country artists down in Nashville. <laughs> and I told him once because he had this whole act where he did the southern accent and all of that that he should go down to Nashville and become like the hip Nashville comic. And if he went down there and did that, he'd have no competition because he wouldn't be playing in the pool with the other kids, you know? And then his sister, I said, she knows the business. She knows all where all the bodies are buried. She could, she could represent you and it'd be perfect. And he never did it. And I thought, I thought, he didn't want to become known as the country comedian. What would have probably been fit in that? good down there. Oh, he would fit in perfectly. Yeah, perfect. Lighten up, everybody. The old room. Like, he's kind of like, uh, what's his name, Gitter Dunn, dude. Yeah, cable but, guy. but he's better than that. He's, he's better he, than the he, cable he, guy. He's yeah. more intelligent than that. Yeah. And I said that the, the, the natural predilection is for people to think that people who like country music are stupid. And I suddenly realized, I woke up one day and realized... I like country music. You know, you know country that I music, 
country music uh, has been st- is is more stable in in the music business than any other uh, type of music. My friend Barry, who's a, a PD for country stations, uh, he he found that that was uh, a more stable uh, uh, environment in the radio business. Uh, because you know, country would, would love. They're loyal. They're loyal. Fans. They're loyal. But, but, but there's more to it than that. I mean, I found that I I always thought, hey, I'm not. If you said, are you are you a country fan? I go no. And then all of a sudden, one day, I realized that most of the stuff I was listening to on my iPod was like country stuff or country flavored, you know. But it was the hip stuff. It was the Dixie Chicks, and it was, you know, it was like old, Frank Sinatra. It was old bluegrass <laughs> stuff, you know. <laughs> Uh, bluegrass stuff. So uh, a lot of it comes from the blues. Yeah. So yeah. I found that I yeah, love a lot that. of the blues. I come found from that the I love that stuff. You know. Yeah. So I mean, I tried to say to him, you know, don't think that you'd be playing to stupid people. There are a lot of very intelligent people who love the country music, but would love to have a hip, smart country comic instead of the getter done dude you know yeah. what's his name uh the, the cable guy larry, larry the cable, cable guy, guy yeah. you know or uh who's that other guy you know jeff foxworthy. huh jeff foxworthy not jeff yeah, foxworthy be, uh, yeah i said you're yeah. better than all those guys you've Isn't got foxworthy dirty no yeah, no not, not really. particularly no none of those country acts are particularly dirty because they're playing to an audience they think doesn't want dirty there, you know. There's a country comedian. Uh, and they're fucking their sisters, White. so they shouldn't mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, who, who's the guy named White? Uh, uh, Ron country? White. Ron, Ron White. White. Dirty uh, as he hell. Ha- yeah, he has a He's club. Funny as hell. Yeah, he has a club in Atlanta, and my nephew is a comedian, but he has a clean act. And, they told me, and so, salad. Yeah, and, and he, he would play in Ron <clears throat> White's club uh, quite a bit. Uh, you know, yeah, he's actually pretty funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, so what else is happening uh, in the news? Our our president has a what a thirty three percent approval rating now. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's worse well, than Trump had, right? Yeah, I think he was at thirty nine at the. Uh, no, I think lowest. he. I think he hit like thirty five or something like that. Really? Yeah. At yeah. one point. Uh, does Biden deserve it? Let me ask you that. And I'm not asking you, Phil. Okay. Because I know what your answer is. You're yeah. So, you're yeah. so goddamn predictable. But do you think maybe he deserves that? I don't think he's doing a great job. Yeah. He's he, Especially in, in a lot of areas that he should be doing a good job or be forced to do a good job in. Stop kissing the Republicans' act. Yeah. Do, do you think that he's still he's giving uh, that he's doing what he promised with COVID? I think he's, he's doing, doing what I I, th- I think I know what you say it because I was going to say the same thing. Uh, and he's doing everything that he he can do with the Republicans blocking his every step. No, he promised that he was going to get rid of the virus. Hey, no, yeah, he was assuming that the Republicans yeah. wanted to get rid of the virus and well, they don't. Why would the Republicans not want to get rid of the virus? To make him look bad. I don't think so. Nobody oh, wants to die to make absolutely. this guy look bad. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I don't yeah. put that past Well, wait public. a minute. Let, let me let me shoot myself so I can make Biden look bad. <laughs> you know? Well, that's what they're doing. They're killing their own people. You know, all of these people. We had 72,000 COVID cases this week. With, uh, over 1,000 people died in Texas. Those are all Republican voters. Well, you should be happy about that. I'm saying that's not that's, that's shooting themselves in the head. You said they're not going to shoot themselves no, in the head. No, they're not. They're doing they're not. I, I, I can't. I, where is the statistic that says that they're Republicans that are dying and not Democrats? Because they're uh, 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 Republicans are dying disproportionately to right. Democrats. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, mm-hmm. it, 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 like I cited earlier, Australia, I read an article that said that more of the vaccinated were hospitalized in uh, New South Wales than the unvaccinated. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Alex said, there's only like 2% of the people that are unvaccinated. Well, uh, if if 50% of the people are unvaccinated uh, and have COVID, and 50% of the people are vaccinated and have COVID, it's gotta be the same, same amount of people. 
No, it, no, and they're not. talking about no, those no, hospitals. What I'm saying, what I'm saying in 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 uh, uh, Australia, the amount yeah. of people vaccinated is what you said, ninety eight percent, Charlie. Oh, it's it's some uh, some number was above ninety. So it, it, it's a large number, and and what I, what we're saying is, of course, that's going to be the people who are going to get. They're going to, the, the the pot is going to come from that. The group of people are going to come from that. You know. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Oh, you know, there. Uh, you want to make fifty grand? <laughs> Become uh, join the army. Uh, really? They're they're given a fifty thousand dollars signing bonus to. Uh, uh, if you join the military, uh-huh. come on. Do they give you a life insurance is. policy with that? <laughs> <laughs> there's no war right now. Uh, yeah, let me get back. What do you to mean there's article. no war right now? Just wait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. We're going to be up to our ass in Ukraine. Arm, the army offers largest ever bonus at fifty thousand dollars to entice new recruits. So uh, fifty thousand dollar bonus. Believe me, they didn't give any bonuses when they wanted me in the Army. Yeah, uh, qualified individuals sign up for a six-year active duty enlistment. Uh, previously, the maximum bonus uh, was capped at $40,000. Oh, well, I think they're, they're giving a $40,000 bonus to work at McDonald's. Yeah, right now. Well, <laughs> that, that's going to that's gonna backfire. McDonald's is one of the companies that is going robotic because not only are they going to have robotic hamburger flippers if you go into mcdonald's which yeah, i have uh, and 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 you want to order something there's nobody standing at the counter you walk up to a kiosk you press the stuff yep. and uh then do you, you know pay. the last time i was in a mcdonald's had to be 25 years ago <laughs> maybe longer last week for me really yeah. <laughs> i try to stay out of there you know unless i'm starving uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I did go in. I did go in a couple of years ago because I wanted to see how much it had changed. Yeah, and the it, it was like I had left it forty years earlier. It was the same goddamn hamburger, and tastes exactly the same way. And that's probably why they're still in business. Is yeah, because they they have a certain guarantee of. Of what they have, you know. Yeah, it's consistent no matter where you are in the world. But <laughs> yeah. the, the thing is, uh, you know, you can't find people to work. So uh, what's happening is the uh, uh, they're using kiosks and they're replacing people. Uh, it was Elon Musk said the other day that uh, he was talking about uh, the guaranteed minimum income because robotics is going to take over and uh, it's the same thing that Yang was talking about uh, because uh, to, to make the transition because uh, you know we're going to be living in a society that doesn't need people to work uh, truckers uh, they're going to have the yeah. uh, uh, the trucks that drive themselves, no. the cabs, no. the cabs yeah. that Boy, drive themselves. Well, here we got they a trucker. Got we, we got they're an next tr- we got a next nope. trucker here. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, okay, explain why nope. <laughs> well, be. they've already found a lot of problems with them. Yeah, right now. Yeah, well, it's going to be at least uh, what do they say? They're going to be probably they they were all saying what. 10 years, 12 years, I see it probably around 20 or 30 years at least. Well, that's, that's a generation, yeah. you know. It's going to be a while before they even figure it out because even for the cars right now, mm-hmm. they've got, they're at the set, they're at the point now where they're pulling back the cars because the cars can't recognize emergency situations. The cars well, can't recognize uh, the spinning lights and the cones and, you know, if there's a if there's a wreck ahead, now they're finding that these 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 automated cars are plowing right through the accident scenes. But how long will it take, Kevin, until they overcome that with, uh, you know, the computer? It's Look, gonna, now it's going to be a while. Be a while. It's going to be a while. SpaceX takes uh, these uh, things and they land them back on the yeah, on but the, that's on the that's pad. yeah, but that's that's a, that's a that's a regular situation. That's that's a setup it, it, situation. It's a very predictable that's not situation. A but situation. With, with, with AI, it won't be that much when you longer got a, until they a, fix it. Okay, are you going to go down the road with a with a tanker full of gasoline or a tanker full of hydrogen chloride or something like that, and have that following you down the road and all of a sudden have to stop? Mm. What do you uh, think? I don't think I want to be around it. 
Well, maybe they're going to transport that no, in a different I, way. I, they, I, they'll I, use the tunnels. No, but I agree. I agree with. Uh, no, they can't go in tunnels. I, I agree with Kevin. I I don't think uh, we're going to see that anytime soon. It would be nice if we had it right now because we can't find enough truck drivers to to take yeah. stuff around the country. Yeah, that, that's, that's the business to be in. I could go get a job right now and get a hundred thousand dollar bonus right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Robotic carpet layers. I can see it now. Robotic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what, they, what they'll do... I don't have to worry about COVID tests. Go. Is is they'll, the they'll little have, dogs that they have? Yeah, I think what they're going to come up with is carpet that comes in squares, like commercial carpet, except it'll be installed with Velcro. You just lay out the, the Velcro mat, uh, hmm. which adheres to the subfloor, and then you just stick the... Uh, the tiles on it. Oh, and you can change it anytime. And then you, you have a robot color. going. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm here to munch your carpet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you got to go on your cart. Go on the shark. I'm your carpet oh, muncher. <laughs> no, I was your own employee working. I think out. I think Kevin's right. I think that uh, uh, automo uh, tr cars and anything automotive, uh, it's a very difficult thing. To yeah, you know. Alex, those Did flying you. machines, they're never going to take off. <laughs> and, and you know those cars with the four wheels? Well, look, you nah, know, give me a horse. Hey, hey, we don't, we don't have flying automobiles yet. We will. <laughs> no, we won't. No. 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 They were, they were no, testing we them right here in our town. They were testing them right here in Hollister. They do have flying automobiles. They do yeah. have them, but can you imagine? Yeah. I'll can tell you, you imagine I'll the tell way you. people drive? They're in a yeah. flying car. Hell no. I'll tell you what, what, what is going to You're be, on my side of the road. What is going to be a primary form oh. of air travel are, uh, what do you call it, uh, drones. Yeah. But drones with people in them. Did you see okay. that drone? Yeah. It's like uh, $3,000 or something, and a, a person can step into Stand it. Stand into it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you I think, think they were testing that, that one up in Marin somewhere. The guys smoke a little weed, stand on it, and take yeah. off. I, I yeah. think it's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, eventually, but I don't think, you know, uh, I think that cars like Tesla are, you can auto drive Teslas, you know, yeah. you cannot have to steer them or do anything else. Oh, really? But then there is a point at which you can overcome all of that, with just as, like putting your foot on the brake or something. There, there was know. an article in uh, uh, in uh, Drudge where somebody took command of twenty uh, a kid uh, hacked 25 Teslas, uh, and you know he just got into their system and he could override whatever the driver uh, or the Tesla wanted to do. Yeah, uh, they were on the road five years ago when I was commuting to Santa Clara, and I used whammo? to get next to them, the Google cars. Yeah, the and I would whammo. go up next to them with our commute van, and yeah. I'd jerk the wheel. Yeah, next to it, and see if it would react. And it Did didn't. It? Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah. Okay, but they they're, they're, they're not making. They they're not making. What it, do? It, it would move over, or it would slow down. But they're not making the Google cars anymore, are they? I, I, no, I've no, seen. No, this was this they're was right. six years ago. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. And it had the little prop things all over the yeah. top of it and the side of it and all that. Yeah, there's about four companies around my company down in in uh, in Sunnyvale. Yeah, Whammo uh, was one. Yeah, there's Apollo. There's like four of them that that have cars constantly going by our place, just yeah. like. So Kevin, when you pulled over towards the Google car, uh, and so the reaction from the Google car is it gave you the finger? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I didn't pay attention. I just kept yes, going. Yes, uh, uh, Alan. So Elon Musk a couple months ago said that his cars are so programmable and so safe, the Teslas, that if if somebody didn't like, and he used this term, Republicans. If somebody had a Republican bumper sticker on their car, yeah, they could program the Tesla to run into the car. Or if they had oh. a, a, a Biden uh, a bumper sticker, they could it, the car could recognize the bumper sticker and slam into the car or not. I thought, well, that's very programmable, but not very useful. Causes more accidents. But he was nobody big, has nobody puts a Trump sticker on their car because they don't want to get keyed. Not in the Bay Area. You know, you, you know what? I think I brought this up the other night. But what I what I found kind of amazing. Do you know the richest man in the world is now? Not Trump. Trump. 
No. Elon, um, Elon uh, Musk. Isn't Elon it? Musk. Yeah. When Elon. did that happen? Not true. Last year, all during uh, the COVID. Yeah. <laughs> He went from like two billion dollars to over two hundred billion dollars during COVID. Yeah. But yeah. how did he do he, that? I think I it's no everyone was Bezos' wife. Because Be- yeah, Bezos, SpaceX. Bezos, Be- oh Bezos, yeah, well Bezos had, Bezos had been number companies. one. He was yeah. Bezos' and, wife and, now. And I always thought that you know uh, 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 Musk was kind of like behind, you know, behind yeah. uh, He's uh, selling uh, Gates and, and so on. He's selling government contracts to deliver goods to the U.S. space station up there. Uh, yeah, you know? but I mean, he... Well, that's his corporation, though. How does he get that? It, but he is worth, uh, I don't know, $225 billion, salary, something like, like that? Carpet One does? I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I found that amazing because I, I, I said, what night did I fall asleep and wake up and this was yeah. a fact of life, you know? He's a smart guy. He's a very smart guy. and Very uh, wealthy. And I think he's done right by us. Yeah. You, they, know? you know, I actually feel they have police cars. There are two of them in Fremont that are Teslas. They were donated because the Tesla plant is in Fremont. They were donated to the Fremont oh, Police right. Department. They work good, except for one was in a chase and it ran out of power and they lost <laughs> the guy. The guy, the guy went into Milpitas, they lost him. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, so, but they gave him two Tesla Model S's that they were testing, I'm sure, Give results back to yeah. Tesla. So they're they're they're, oh. they're very fast. Uh, a friend of very. mine has one, and he pressed a button, mm-hmm. and the car backed out of the parking space with nobody in it. That's right. And and uh, you know I I thought that was pretty cool. With nobody yeah. in the car. Nobody yeah. in the car. The car was locked. And nobody uh, in the parking space either. Yeah, and he summoned the car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been in a Model S? The Model yes. S is the fast car. Hey, listen. Yeah. Three point six seconds, zero to sixty. That there's, car. Wow. There's a couple of different uh, uh, models of the Model S. Motors are fast. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that I'm gonna. Walter you know, the, I feel what I feel him. bad about is, is that I'm not gonna live to be able to go to Mars. You know, and he. <laughs> do, he, you, he do you know that people man. who own Mars candy are some of the richest people in the world? Uh, mm-hmm. There's a brother and a sister. So if if you want, you just get a candy bar. You go to Mars. Right, yeah. Mars bar. Yeah. Look they have it. different flavors. Oh, yeah, my, my, my friend and I were at Target, and we were leaving to go to the car, and these guys, three guys were just standing there, and all of a sudden, the Tesla pulled up. Really? And they got in, they opened the door, nobody was in there. My friend and I were just staring at each other. <laughs> no, yeah, the summons thing. This is like a couple years ago. We're like, well, isn't there a the pizza? Is, isn't there a pizza company like Domino's or somebody who's delivering automatically? In oh, yeah. oh, they have those little, uh, yeah, those little uh, drones, drone cars or whatever yeah, they are. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. They're they're doing that over here in Almond Valley. They, there's a company doing like three cities. They're experimenting. And they were like so big, and they had like a big flag. What yeah, the and I would be at the what light, and they would, I would stop, and that thing would wait till the light went red, and then you just start, start cruising along, and then and it would be doing deliveries from uh, Lucky's. You know what's funny? There are things that just are to show you how our times have changed. I was watching a lot of Letterman on YouTube, and it was a whole bunch of Lettermans in which it was called How's the Weather? And what he would do is he would take a phone book and he would randomly pick a name and then call somebody and say, how's the weather out there, you know? And I'm thinking to myself, they couldn't do that bit today. I mean, it was no brilliant. Phone book. It was brilliant. But there's no phone books. No phone book. Are there phone books at all? Oh, yeah, I, I got think a phone so. book out there. Wait, Alex, wait, 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 wait a minute, Brian. You still get one, yep. Did you used you to call... Going to did you used know. to call people up, up Alex, thick. on the phone? Uh, Tell her that. Was that you? What? Uh, the, they used to call people on the phone during the show and uh, uh, ask them a question or, or something. Joe? Joe? The morning zoo. Oh, that, right. that's what it that was? That was the zoo. Yeah. Oh, I, I, it wasn't Alex? But we what, we, we had somebody dropped off a phone book here, and like Kevin says, it, it's really thin. Yeah. And yeah. I told Stephanie, I said, go get that. You know, she was like 11 at the time. I said, go get that thing. So she got it, and she opened it. I said, what is it? She was, I have no idea. And I said that, and the white pages, I said, that's got everybody's phone number in there. 
And she started looking at it. She was just totally. In my, in my seventh grade math class, the first day of school, Mr. Schmitz uh, took a phone book. I think it was a Manhattan book. And he, he ripped it in half. <laughs> And he said, I don't want any crap out of, well, they didn't say crap. I don't want any anything out of anybody. And, you know, he ripped that bo phone book in half, and that left an impression on every one of those students. Do you know how easy class. that is to do, though? Yeah, yeah. You just got to get that line, and mm. uh, you, you, you bend it to where you get, a, like, a white line on the page. You basically, what you're there. doing is you're ripping it page by page by putting the pages kind of at an angle. Yeah. I, I, don't you do that in your shop, Phil, where somebody comes in with a piece of pergo and you rip it in half? Uh, no, I stick it in water. <laughs> Falls apart. But anyway, I mean, uh, uh, um, uh, I, I was thinking about that the other day. He couldn't do that bit today because there are really not very many phone books around, you know? Yeah. And now there's no. Now they have to sell door stops. And they, because, uh, phone booths, you know, forget it. There are no phone booths left. No. No. Yeah, you know, that was funny because the other day when I went to switch out my phone, yeah. you know, get another phone, right. I, I sent my <laughs> wife and my my daughter and her friend out to the other side of the mall, and and I said, yeah, I'm going to go over to Apple and switch out my phone. I went in there, and they were like, you go into Apple now, and you get your ass, you say, you, what phone do you want? Here it is. You're going to sign for it, and you're going to get the hell out of here. It's right. like, boom, 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 get in and get out. Wow. And by the time he had taken my phone and you know wiped it i go oh i gotta send my wife a text because she doesn't know what you know where i'm at or whatever and we were supposed to meet up and stuff and she was at the other end of del monte center i was at this end and we were supposed to meet up and I'm, all of a sudden i didn't have a phone i'm going i'm naked Panic. you know but <laughs> naked well as you're walking out of the store it's loading. As I'm walking out of the store, and I'm going, I can't go down there because now she doesn't know where I'm at. If I walk down there, I know she'll walk over here. If I walk on the inside of the mall, she's going to walk on the outside of the mall. So I go back to the car, and I sit there for a half hour. Nothing happens. I'm going, shit. <laughs> I knew she was supposed to be back by now, but, of course, she's going to go drift somewhere. Long story short, I ended up having to go back to the Apple store and saying, can I borrow a fucking phone because there's no no phone boost, nothing? Can I borrow a burner phone or something to send my wife a text, even Kevin? if she answers it, because it'll be from somebody that she doesn't know? And I do, had to send you, her a text. Do you know her number? Yes, I yes, mean, yeah. I, I, I did I, know her number. I did oh, know her number. Yeah. Wait, 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 Nobody wait, else but, knows. Wait a minute, but you, yeah. you right, came out. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Because we only have a minute left here before I play the music. Yeah. Uh, didn't uh, you went into the store? You got a phone and left with a phone, right? Yeah, yeah. But it was dead. It wasn't activated yet. Why wasn't it activated? They should have activated. Because they don't do that. They say they give you the phone. They say it'll be activated, but you got to go home and set it all up and get it all going. Put really? one phone next to the other. No, you can't. You don't have time to do that because you're not on the. You're not on a, a Wi-Fi or anything. Oh. No, but all you, have, you, all you have to do, all you have to do, is to go onto the cloud and download. Yeah, but but there's no internet connection. Oh, really? Well, no, they wouldn't let you sit there. Usually, years. you sit there and get it activated, right? Yeah, when you're right. in the store. That's what they did last time I got one. Every no, time they don't let you. Phone. They weren't letting you in the store. I'm, you get in. I I even tried to change the color of the phone, and they said, "What." <laughs> You want to change the color? I said, I wanted to see what the difference between the sizes were of, of a Pro and a Max. And he goes, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing which that. phone do you want? Which one do you want? And I said, That's... I just want to see which phone, it, you know, how it feels in my hand. He goes, all right, come here, come here. He walks over. He says, this is the one. This is the other one. Which one do you want? That's <laughs> customer service. It was, it was, it was faster. Anyway. It was, uh, I swear to God, I, if I was in there 15 minutes, I would have been there a long time. You anyway, know? we got the theme is playing. The theme is playing. We got to go. It was crazy. Uh, uh, thanks, Phil, for sticking around. We appreciate it. Uh, come by anytime you want to. You know, you're welcome, Alan. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you very much, uh, 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 Brian. Uh, wonderful having you here tony good seeing you uh and jeff good seeing you and of course uh, uh kevin of course always wonderful having you here everybody give a big wave goodbye i'll give a big wave goodbye back at you okay and there they go ladies and gentlemen that's our citizen panel for tonight let me just get rid of them here so that i can 
get everything else going. That's it for tonight. Uh, that's our show. Uh, we'll be back again uh, tomorrow night. Uh, Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. Uh, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you haven't been vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you haven't been boosted, get boosted. And if you haven't done those things, wear a mask. And if you don't wear a mask, fuck you. Anyway, good night, everybody. <laughs> see you later, yeah. Mm-hmm.